Welcome back. I hope Jinx shows up for this month's book chat. I think he's missed his starring role in the monthly video featuring Penguin's Berkeley Prime Crime and Obsidian Mysteries. Here are the May releases. Lorna Barrett's Book Club is now available in paperback. Bookstore owner Tricia Miles and her sister Angelica, the newly elected Chamber of Commerce president, must shelve their differences to catch a killer who turned a bookcase into a murder weapon. Some Like It Witchy is Heather Blake's latest wishcraft mystery. Death holds an open house when an old house goes up for sale. Although a friend of Darcy's hopes for the winning bid, Darcy has a feeling something bad is about to happen. When Darcy finds the real estate agent dead in the house, she has to unlock the secrets of the deceased and the estate in order to find a killer. Janet Boland's back with a Threadville mystery, Seven Threadly Sins. When the mean-spirited director of the Threadville Academy of Design and Modeling ends up dead, Willow Vanderling tops the suspect list. She has to find the killer who is trying to pin the blame on her. The Book Stops Here by Kate Carlisle is now in paperback. When bookbinder Brooklyn Wainwright appears as a rare book expert on the hit TV show, the Old, This Old Attic, she is thrilled to see a valuable first edition of the children's classic, The Secret Garden. But someone thinks treasures in the attic are worth killing for. Ming T. Murder is the latest hardcover tea shop mystery by Laura Childs. Normally, Indigo tea shop owner Theodosia Browning wouldn't attend a black tie affair. But her boyfriend Max has organized a gala opening of a museum exhibit featuring a genuine 18th century tea house. The creme de la creme of Charleston society is invited, but one donor ends up dead, and Max is a suspect. Hi Conrad's Mr. Monk and the New Lieutenant is now in paperback. When Monk attends a judge's funeral, he finds evidence of poison. Now his friend, Captain Stottlemyre, is showing the same symptoms the judge did. Monk takes on the case, knowing his friend is in danger. It's a Sunny and Shadow mystery, Claire Donnelly's Hiss and Tell. Sonny's photographing a society wedding when a body is fished out of the water at the private compound. Although the private security firm claims the death is, was an accident, Sonny teams up with her cat, Shadow, to investigate the fishy story. Sally Goldenbaum's hardcover, A Finely Knit Murder, features the seaside knitters of Sea Harbor, Massachusetts, who stitch and sleuth together. Bertie Favaza is thrilled that her granddaughter will be staying with her while attending the local all-girls school. But when the body of an outspoken board member is found near the school boathouse, it's too close for comfort for Bertie. It's easy to catch up with Carolyn Hart's Death on Demand series in May. Read the latest paperback, Death at the Door. Annie and Max investigate the apparent suicide of a beloved local doctor. And then, a local artist is arrested for his wife's murder. Annie has to be careful that she doesn't have her own brush with death. Then move on to the hardcover by Carolyn Hart. Don't go home. Annie promised Max she'd steer clear of sleuthing. But after a literary icon dies, before revealing the real-life inspirations for his characters, and one of Annie's friends had a fight with him, Annie isn't about to let the police throw the book at her friend. One Foot in the Grape launches the first Cypress Cove mystery by Carlene O'Neill. In California wine country, Penny Lively inherits the family winery. When her niece becomes a suspect in a death involving a grape crusher, Penny also inherits trouble. I had a second cat show up. So although Jinx left the video, Josh might be back and forth in front of the camera. You never know. In Nancy J. Parra's latest baker's treat mystery, Flowerless to Stop Him, gluten-free baker 
Tony Holmes, is determined to learn who set up her brother as a murder suspect. She's about to get some unwanted assistance from former investigative journalist Grandma Ruth. Maybe it's the cover of this book that brought my cats out today. Check out the cover of the first deep-fried mystery, Filet of Murder, by Linda Riley. Talia Barbie is happy to help her friend B. Lambert by working at Lambert's Fish and Chips in a charming shopping plaza designed to resemble an old English village. But when a fellow store owner is killed and B. is the number one suspect, Talia has to fish around for clues. Victoria Thompson's Gaslight Mystery, Murder in Murray Hill, is now in paperback. The residents of 19th century New York City turn to midwife Sarah Brandt and Detective Sergeant Frank Malloy to protect them from the worst crimes. Now, the duo must track down a criminal preying on innocent women. Cats and Libraries Elaine Vietz knows the way to my heart in her most recent dead-end job mysteries. In Catnapped, now in paperback, Helen Hawthorne goes undercover as an assistant for a woman who shows prize-winning Persians. Helen and her husband, Phil Sagemont, have barely scratched the surface of the world of show cats when a cornered kitty kidnapper's claws come out. Checked out is Vietz's new hardcover. Helen's on her own when she goes undercover as a library volunteer, searching for a missing watercolor masterpiece that may have been hidden in a donated book. When a body is found in a parking lot, it appears someone wants to keep the library treasure a secret. Now, Helen has to find a killer and the painting before she's taken out of circulation. Great selections for May. I hope you find a tempting title or two from Penguin's Berkeley Prime Crime and Obsidian. Enjoy!